Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to go over my Madden 22 beta initial thoughts. So I have played about four games right now. Not a lot of games to be completely honest with you guys of course. You know I'm definitely going to play a lot lot more over the next week or so uh, and kind of let you guys know more as I play things I like, things I don't like and then my final thoughts on it all towards the end of it but i wanted to get a video out tonight and just let you guys know my initial thoughts on everything how does it feel certain things i've already noticed that need to be changed in my opinion some things that are really good and you guys let me know down below as well if you guys have been playing the beta what do you think about it now i do want to give a shout out to kevron brown for being a part of the Nota gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the video make sure you guys are subbed to the channel to notification bell on and comment down below Nota gang now this video guys is as i said mostly going to be about gameplay there is some stuff that i have noticed in madden ultimate team that i will be addressing probably tomorrow morning uh the strategy boost stuff i'm going to talk about that tomorrow uh with all that as well as some other stuff that we've already found about pre-order bonuses different things like that so this one strictly gameplay so the very first thing i want to talk about is going to be movement in the beta now keep in mind most things are not final at all uh, ratings are not final at all on a lot of these players and everything like that when it comes to ultimate team because the rosters they're not final so don't pay attention to any of that if you guys are playing the beta right now but I've only played one game right now of like regular game I have not touched franchise I've been playing Madden ultimate team uh, for the most part I did play some solos and everything like that and I will say the movement it is definitely not current gen it is 100% next gen by next gen I mean slower right but is it a step up from Madden 21 next gen? Yes, without a doubt, it is definitely a little bit faster. It is not even close to current gen speed, but it is a little bit faster. So that is really good. And one thing that I have noticed uh, that I really, really like, honestly, I think it is kind of cool, to be honest, uh, is the stop and go. The stop and go definitely is there for Madden 22 on next gen. It's so much there that really, like I've noticed when I've run the ball, what you can do you stop so quickly when you're not like going fast already. So let's say you have a run planned to go to the right, right? Like inside zone, whatever. If you run with your running back, right? You get the ball to your running back. You take like two steps forward, just release off of the trigger. And of course, you know, the stick as well. You'll basically stop instantly and you can just immediately cut it to the left. So let's say you're about to go to the right and you notice it's just a huge gap right here to the left. You can very easily stop and boom, go instantly and pick up a lot of yards, which I think is really cool, and it, it's really good with the run game. I like that a lot. Also, open field stop and goes. It's definitely there for Madden 22 still. I like that. It adds in another thing, uh, another skill gap, I will say, for the better players, which I enjoy. I think there should be a skill gap. Now, I have experienced momentum in the stadiums as well. I did have that with my Play Now game that I did with the Chiefs Stadium, the Play Now. I think it's actually really cool. I think the momentum is a pretty good concept. Uh, it's not, at least from the ones that I have played, I also did have momentum show up in my head-to-head -head game on uh, Mutt, where my play art, it's kind of hard to explain to you guys. No, I can't show you any actual in-game footage of the beta. Unfortunately, I can only talk about it. Cannot show in-game footage, sadly. But the like the play art, the routes of my players and everything was just like squiggly all over, like all over the screen. You couldn't really make it out. So like when you selected a play, you, you better know what routes you have. But when I was playing in the Chiefs Stadium as well, it was really cool to see the different things that were happening there where like when they filled up the momentum bar against me, they could see my number one receiver on the play. You can actually see the art there and made it harder to actually audible or you could potentially have an audible that didn't work on offense stuff like that i think it's pretty cool i think that different stadiums have different things though so as i said i've only played one stadium so far with the chiefs one but honestly i, I kind of like the concept of it it's kind of cool another thing i really really like about this is defenders actually play delay fades so tight end delay fades are terrible in madden 21 if you just go ahead and you man up a defender on the tight end if you know your opponent's about to do delay fade it stops it that's big I love that. 
Now, I will say one thing I've noticed as I've been trying to use linebackers, the movement in general just seems better for linebackers. But as far as I can tell anyways that I've played so far, and again, I'm going to play more games to finally get, you know, a, a final look on this. But from the linebackers that I used and everything, they're not really that usable. I think it's still definitely going to be a safety at middle linebacker type of year. Another thing that I did really notice as well is QB sneaks. I'm not sure if this was on Madden 21 or not when it came to next gen. I play current gen Madden 21. I played a couple games on next gen, didn't like it. But in Madden 22, the QB sneaks, because I actually ran one, when you snap the ball, it's not like you stand there and you just like huddle in. They dive. Like literally, I have Ryan Fitzpatrick, a quarterback in Mutt. He dove forward to get the TD. I thought that was really awesome. Not really a big, big thing, but something I just thought was kind of cool there. Uh, another thing is tackling. I have noticed the tackling distance. Let's say you dive tackle somebody. At least from what I've seen again, it seems pretty long. Like the distance you can actually like start your tackle animation and reach somebody, it seems decently long. I've all seen a couple like cool tackle animations. Like one where I was going to the sideline, I actually used my elbow to push somebody out of bounds. Thought that was kind of cool. Something I really noticed as well about quarterbacks in Madden Ultimate Team specifically, as I said, I've not played a lot of head to head, so I haven't seen like Lamar Jackson or anything, but some people have different teams. For me, I have Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tom Brady, a quarterback. I faced somebody who had Baker Mayfield, and he has 86-speed Baker Mayfield. He was fast, very fast behind the line of scrimmage, running, scrambling around. He seemed extremely fast, so I really want to see, like, Lamar or someone of that caliber speed when they're scrambling around because, like, Baker Mayfield... It seemed like he had a skate artist, but he didn't. One thing I will say that I did not like to see is when my opponents actually playmakered, I did notice that my DBs, they didn't really react at all. Like they would playmaker and boom, they would they would literally do nothing. And the playmaker wide receiver would get open like instantly. And I did not like that at all. Something else that I think a lot of people will also notice as well is catches in traffic. Right now, there are not many catches in traffic. Now, I think this might have been something that EA actually had on the list uh, of their feedback thing they're working on here, but I'm just going to put it out there anyways because it's something that I have noticed here. Of course, all my feedback, once I have my final feedback, I will be posting on the forums over there to help EA, of course, try to get the game better before the game actually releases. Keep in mind, none of this stuff is final. There's a lot of stuff going to be changing, but there's not a lot of catches in traffic. It seems like if a receiver goes up for the ball and he tries to catch it, if a DB is there, 90% of the time, it's not caught. Like, it is going to be dropped. It is not going to be caught at all. Like, most of the time, if you're going over the middle or something, you try to catch a ball. If a linebacker hits you, a safety hits you, whatever, it's a drop every time. Now, this is more of a Madden Ultimate Team thing here, but this is something I did notice I did want to talk about because I really, really do like this, and that is the stats on the backup card. So, yes... Finally, we've actually got stat tracking in Madden Ultimate Team. So if you go buy a card off the auction house and you want to keep track of how you're doing with that card, it will show you like a running back carries, yards, stuff like that. So you can actually see how good the card is. And also there's a head-to-head -head one and then versus CPU. So you, they separate there. So it's not tracking what you do versus computers too, if you don't want it to. But I mean, it will track, but you know what I mean? It's not combining with head-to-head. -head, so it's like completely out-averaged. And even for a running back, as I'm literally looking at it right now, I can see right here with my Daryl Williams, I have one receiving broken tackle. I have 34 receiving yards, six receiving yards after the catch, four catches total. And then longest receiving yards after first hit is 1.79 yards. Rushing here, I have longest time behind the line of scrimmage, which is kind of cool they actually track that. 4.17 seconds I was actually behind the line of scrimmage. I have one rushing TD, 60 total rushing yards, Longest run after the first hit is just five yards. Rushing yards after the first hit is 19. There's even kick return, punt return, mutt stats, game stats. I'm not with the, not sure what the uh, the mutt stats one is there because you know the rushing receiving that's mutt. That's all head to head there, so I'm not sure what the mutt one is. And then game stats. But there's an all time, so you can kind of see how he's played for other people. And then there's also a current filter, so you can see just on your team or on everybody's team. So you can really see how he's played for other people as well. I love that a lot. So those are just my first initial thoughts on the gameplay, stuff that has really stuck out to me that I like and don't like as well. Uh, I do like the better movement. It's not as good as current gen. Is it playable though? 
I would say so. I'd say it definitely is playable. However, I won't I will know this as well. And again, this is just because it's probably the beta. It's gonna be, you know, tuned and everything like that. You can't stop Tyreek Hill. It was the same thing last year, but you literally cannot stop Tyreek Hill in this beta. Like, good luck. People can just chuck streaks all day. It does not matter what defense you run. It is crazy using the Chiefs in here. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Just my first initial thoughts on the Madden 22 beta. I'll have a bunch of videos this week going over stuff I like, dislike, just a ton of stuff. I got to play the yard. I got to play franchise. The yard's actually not until next week, I believe. But I got to play franchise still. I got to play more head-to-head, -head, some more ultimate team. I'm going to be playing a lot of this beta this week. So expect some videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.